With all of the decorative work programmed, the part needs to be cut out of the panel. This requires changing to a straight cutting bit and adding tabs to hold the part in place. The oval border is again highlighted and the Profile Toolpath button clicked to open the dialog box. The depth of cut is set, in this case 0.5 inches. The 0.25 end mill is chosen from the tool menu. And the parameters can be adjusted as needed. Select the outside machine vector to offset the bit to the outside of the toolpath. Tabs must be added to ensure that it does not move as it separates from the workpiece. Click Add Tabs to Toolpath. You can adjust the length, thickness, and shape of the tabs to be left behind. The Edit Tabs button opens a new dialog box. This is where the number of tabs and their placement can be controlled. I've selected four tabs to be left. You can manually adjust the tabs or even add more right on the main screen. With the tabs placed, rename the toolpath and close the dialog box to preview the toolpath as we've done before. All the programming is now complete and the machine codes can be created to cut your part from the actual stock.